Hello friends, my name is Jim Piela and this is Playing Through, a collection of etudes based on developing a single motif over a set of standard jazz chord changes. This video we're taking a look at pushing up daisies, which you can find PDFs and playlongs down below in the description. If you haven't already, check out the intro video where I talk more about what exactly we're doing here and what we're trying to work on with these etudes. Let's talk about the motif that I'm using on Pushing Up Daisies. This one is, uh, it's used all over the place. It's a fairly straightforward line. Um, I think about Kenny Dorham's song, Prince Albert. So uh, the very first measure of Prince Albert, it's one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one. I'm playing it over F minor. And you can move that into any, uh, onto any chord. You can also sequence it around uh, scales in a fairly straightforward way. It's a really nice line, very straightforward, very melodic. And I wanted to see how far I could expand that. Could I actually use a, a straightforward line like that over two choruses of a tune? Moving around rhythmically was a really big help in developing this idea. And hopefully you're starting to see that. And hopefully you use that in your own melodic developments because it's a really powerful tool. First spot I want to pull up is measures 25 through 29. If you think about this line starting on beat four of measure 24. One, two, three. So we get most of the line. There it is, right? So we get the entire line uh, to start, starting on a beat four. Then we get the second half of the line. Then we get the whole line again. Then the second half of the line. Kind of a false start of the line again. And then the entire line starting on beat one. It kind of throws you off a little bit, keeps you kind of guessing about where it's going, but hopefully it still sounds like the whole thing is glued together using that one line. The next spot I want to talk a little bit about is measures 35 through 36. This is all over a concert D7 altered scale, which is our E flat melodic minor scale starting on a D. We're developing the second half of the line only in these two measures. To me, this just has a really angular sort of sound where the line generally is a fairly smooth scalar line, but playing it over melodic minor, playing it over the, the altered scale here, gives it kind of a more angular sort of feel. Um, and it's a really nice way to develop it, especially when we consider the whole line. Starting in measure 32, I'm going to pick up, play the pickups. Two. I'm using the, hopefully you can hear, I'm using the second half of the line, developing it over that melodic minor. So the last spot I want to talk about is measures 41 through 43. As you're playing through this, this might be the most challenging section of the piece. Um, and we're going to see this, I use this kind of idea a lot. This is a fairly straightforward rendition of the line, just in three instead of four. Do, 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 right? So without the, the triplets, right? It's, it's the line over a Lydian mode, right? And then it continues. You could think about the whole thing actually kind of in concert C major, right? But because of the triplets, it offsets it and continues to offset it and gives it this kind of like speeding up feeling. One, two, three, four, four. Anytime you can break up that rhythm uh, and get away from that, it adds a lot of flavor and a lot of color to the line itself. Even though it's a fairly straightforward version of it, I'm not doing anything fancy with it except for playing it in triplets. Um, good challenge and a good thing to be hearing. I think that's the other challenge that shows up here is like, man, if I can work on that and hear that a little bit more, maybe it'll show up in my improvisations. I'm going to play this thing for you. Before I do that, uh, Make sure to engage in all the social media ways, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, if you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comments. If you don't have a question or a comment, leave your favorite flower emoji below. Let's go with that. I wouldn't ask if it didn't help a lot if you did that. So let's hear this thing. <laughs> 